What's going on everyone? It's Jared 30 here bringing you guys another video. This time it's gonna be a little bit more towards a salary cap idea. As you guys can see by the title, here are the top five cards that you need to have in your lineup when playing salary cap. I know I'm not like a salary cap goon, but I understand there are certain cards you want to have in your life. Certain cards you kind of must have in your lineup. Um, salary cap is a mode where it kind of depends on what kind of scheme you're running or what you like to run. That kind of dictates where you spend your cap or what type of players you get. As you guys can see on my team, I like to run the ball. So I got Bo Jackson. I spent a lot of cap on him. But I also like to pass the ball. And if you looked at my defense, you guys can see I like linebackers, I like pass rush, and I like my secondary. So it depends, but I still think there are five types of things you need. So starting off, I know these are five players, but this entire offensive line I think is one. Uh, unless you really juice out your line, if you like going with a low cap line, you've got to go with the tier one power up players these guys are only 15 cap and they are not terrible when it comes to pass protection i'm not even kidding you um whitworth ramon foster travis redrick marshall yonda and zach strife i see what a lot of people use to what i use i think it, it works really really well the passing stat the pass protection stats on them are great and just to look at him he's a 75 overall if i compared him with another 75 overall you see where like he's a lot more balanced of a card he beats this current gold one in certain areas and he's actually one cap less you save a cap pretty much in each offensive lineman by using the power up which is really good for your team uh save five cap here you can use five cap elsewhere uh moving on to the second player you need you need to have evan ingram in your lineup i don't care what you say evan ingram is one of the fastest he's the fastest tight end in the game with 86 speed you can use his team of the week or you can use his base card and it's a one speed difference it's also a one cap difference but the receiving stats are a lot more juiced up it's a little bit more of, of like an increase in the card for his team of the week but it's only a one cap increase like i said if you save one cap by switching your o-line to the power up you can just increase in the evan ingram just from his base card to his team of the week his team of the week card's insane uh if your tight end's running a lot of drags and streaks Evan Ingram is your guy. That's what he's good at. You don't need insane route running for that. He plays really, really well. He's incredibly fast. He's to keep up with linebackers and safeties. I love Evan Ingram as number two who you should have on your team. The last three of these guys, though, are going to be on the defense. And starting off, there's two different guys here. It's Dewey McDonald and Camu Bruger Hill. I think of these as two different guys to have because the way he looks at it is Dewey McDonald is a must-have for a salary cap. If you take a look at him, he's a linebacker with 84 speed. That's phenomenal. You don't come across many of that. Deion Jones has 84 speed but look how much more cap he is he's 11 more cap if you're just looking for a user you can save so much cap they're around the same height i know Deion jones is a more complete player but just think of it hassan riddick yes he's one speed faster but he's also nine cap more expensive again if we're just thinking about a user a user in itself dewey mcdonald's a great guy for that he's fantastic he's fast even if you play him out in the flat and you don't user him his speed will make up for his lower stats and then Hamu gruger hill I, I definitely said his name wrong He's another linebacker I, th I feel like you should have. He's six foot two and he's 83 speed. We just looked at Dewey McDonald. And Dewey McDonald, yeah, he's a little bit faster, but he doesn't actually have the height that we're talking about with uh, Gruger Hill here. And if we take a look at McDonald really, really quick here, just to show you guys a comparison, because I feel like you need to have both of these guys. I don't feel like one of them is going to suffice. I feel like it's nice because you get to keep your cap down. These guys are both in the 15 cap range. It's really nice to have for your team. It's going to help your team out. You're going to be able to spend cap elsewhere. Um,. Here's a Dewey McDonald card. So Dewey's actually 14. He's 15. They're pretty similar. I mean, you're going to trade two height for one less speed. And they're almost the same card. They're great to both have, though. Good silver linebackers to fill your team with. I mean, like I was just showing you guys before. If you looked at the cap value difference between these two. Other linebackers out there like Shane Ray's 31 cap. Sheldon Richardson's 27. You save a lot of cap and you can spend it elsewhere. If you want a linebacker that can just do it on itself by Ray Lewis, you get yourself a Ray Lewis. But personally, man, this is what I like to spend on my team. And then lastly, it's the secondary. I know people like juicing out their secondary. Currently, right now, the newest vibe is, or the newest meta is getting 91 plus zone coverage, or at least 90 zone. That's nice to have. But I think it's too hard to juice out your entire secondary, where you need one guy who's kind of going to just, you're going to have to, I guess, take a uh, take a pay cut here, as you could say, or a cap cut here. And Lonnie Ballantyne's one of the guys I like. There's a guy named, his last name's Green. I'm not exactly sure who he is. But there's another guy named Obi Melawafanu. Um, you guys don't know who he is. He's a safety for the Raiders. He's a lot more capped than Bellatine. Not a lot more, but three. I feel like three is a lot when you're talking about just like a depth player. A player that's not going to be able to do it all. But if I show you Obi Melawafanu really quick right here, man. It, it, it's 
it's a tough decision. Like, this is your safety that you're going to have out here that's just going to play on his own. Maybe he's your user safety. It depends on how you do it. So here's Obi Meloafu compared to Lonnie Valentine. Yes, you save three cap with using Lonnie. Lonnie's only one inch shorter, but he's not as athletic, I guess, as you could say. I mean, these are two great cards you can use. Personally, I like Lonnie over Obi. Obi's taller. Obi might have a little more acceleration, but I'm going to save myself the three cap. You guys got to think about it. These are some really nice cards you can have on your team. I know some guys like to juice out in other areas. That's why I'm not telling you to go get Chris Harris Jr. I mean, pretty much all these guys I'm telling you to get are affordable. Lonnie's pretty affordable. Uh, Camus Gruger Hill and Dewey McDonald are really affordable. And then on the offense, Evan Ingram basically or Team of the Week is incredibly affordable. And this entire offensive line is not bad to do. It's just tier one. It's just tier one of these guys. It's super, super easy. And you guys will be saving yourself a lot more cap out there. You'll be able to know who to put in these positions where you need a flex player or to back up. Or if you just need someone that you want to start at right outside linebacker, but you don't want to spend a lot of cap on. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.